Let us try to understand how to get the equation of a parabola in standard form given three points. Find the standard form equation of the parabola that goes through the points a 1 7, b is 2 12 and c is 3 21. While general equation of parabola in standard form can be written as y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Now given three points we can get three equations. Since we have three variables they can be simultaneously solved to find the values of variables by method of substitution and elimination. So let's follow those methods and get the equations. So if I use the point 1 7 so that means I'm using point A which is 1 7 in that case what I get is y value is 7 so 7 equals 2 x value is 1 so we'll replace x with 1 so we get a times 1 square plus b times 1 plus c and th that gives us 7 equals to a plus b plus c so let's call this as our equation number 1 and here we have used the point a which is 1 7 now similarly what we can do is we can find the second equation by substituting b which has a coordinate point of 2 12 so 12 is the y value so we get 12 equals to a times 2 square plus b times 2 plus c so 12 is equals to 4a plus 2b plus c now we can call this as our equation number 2 and in equation 2 we have used the point B which is 2 12. Now from these two equations what we can do is we can eliminate C right so from equation 2 so we can do equation 2 minus equation 1 so if we do that we can eliminate C from these two equations. So what we get is 12 minus 7 is 5 equals to 4a minus a 3a and 2a minus b, 2b minus b is b. So c is eliminated. Now we can also get the third equation which is using the point c 3 21. So 21 is the y value. 21 equals to 3, 3 square is 9. Let me write 3 square first. So we get 21 equals to 9a plus 3b plus c. Let this be our equation number 3. Well, I did this step here. Let me write this as equation 4. The equation derived from first and second equation. Well, we need not to eliminate C from the third equation also so that we have equation in A and B to solve for A and B. So let us use equation 1 and 3. So we can do now equation 3 minus equation 1. Then what do we get? So 21 minus 7 is 14 equals to 9 minus 1 is 8a and 3 minus b is 2b we get 2b now this can be simplified we can divide by 7 rather 2 to get 7 equals to 4a plus b now let me call this as equation number 5 for us now we have equation 4 and 5 which have only two variables which are a and b now if i do equation 5 minus 4 i can eliminate b so we'll do equation 5 minus equation 4 7 minus 5 is 2 4 minus 3 is a so we get a as equals to 2 now once we get a equals to 2 we can write this equation as equation 6. We can eliminate 
or we can substitute a in one of our equations with two variables and find b. So let me substitute a equals to 2 from equation 6 in 5. So let's go backwards to find the values of b and c. So we get 7 equals to 4 times 2 plus b or 7 minus 8 equals to b which gives us value of minus 1 for b. Right? So we get equation 7 where b is equals to minus 1. Now we can use one of our original equations. Let us say equation 1. So we'll sub equation 7 in equation 1. So rather we'll sub equation values of a and b, also 6. So a we know is equals to 2 b is equals to minus 1 and we are substituting these in equation number 1. So we have 7 equals to 2 plus minus 1 plus c. So that is 7 equals to 2 minus 1 is 1 plus c and we get 7 minus 1 equals to c which is equals to 6. With that we get our equation right. So from the starting equation this let me call this is equation number 8. So now we know that a is equals to 2, b equals to minus 1 and c equals to 6. That gives our equation which is y equals to 2x square minus x plus 6. So that is the solution for this problem. You can always verify once you get your standard form equation that these points really lie on that. You can substitute 3 for x and figure out if you really get 21 for y. That's the way to check it. Now let's review how we did it. So we've given three points a, b and c. With these three points we get three different equations with three unknowns. Now whenever you have three equations with three unknowns it is possible to find their values values of unknown by following systematically method of elimination and substitution. So this example actually illustrates the method and once you follow this method as shown here you can always get your equation. So we'll do two more examples which will be slightly more complicated than this and then move on further. Thank you and all the best.